Oh, it's had an, another update again. And we've unlocked the GTR Roadstar VGT, so the car is new. It's looking nice. And I'm going to drive it on the Kyoto Driving Park. So let's give it a go. Loving the cars that they're giving with the latest DLC updates in GT Sport. They're kind of making up for what was missing at launch. And they've added new tracks, new DLC cars, and uh, livery, etc. Oh, just got bumped. My gosh, just getting bumped here. to be a rather good driving simulator. I keep telling people whether or not you think it's better than say Forza 7 and other racing games it's just purely down to your personal preference. Personally I love Forza, always have done, but GT Sport or Gran Turismo 7 as it's known has uh, rekindled my interest in the Gran Turismo series, and rightly so, it looks astonishing, plays beautifully, cars handle nicely, and they're starting to add more and more events, which is a nice little addition. Let me know what you think in the comments, and please give the game a solid thumbs up, and tell me what your favourite racing game is in the comments, let me know what you like to play, and if there's any, if there's any races or cars you'd like to see me race in GT Sport. Again, leave a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching. Alright, we made it to team position. me as well. You've got to be careful because I've got a bit of bumping you from behind making you spin out of control. Oh, these guys are tough to catch. I've been basically flooring this road star almost all the way. chance and take it down the middle. No, no, no. Should have taken it on the outer wing, damn it. Oh, and they're caught up again. place. Come on. Oh, fourth. Dang it. Okay, fourth is still good enough. Not quite in the top three, but still, first time I raced that. <clears throat> Again. There's quite a 
a lot of grinding to do like in any racing game and it's not a bad little game. Now Polyphony have been adding lots of new cars via DLC. Is it They've done about four or five updates since I last played, so uh, yeah, that's quite a few updates. God, look at this. I'm flooring this baby. And they've added GT Gran Turismo Leagues as well, so um, that's something I'll be streaming more of at some point. And I hope you guys are appreciating the videos I'm uploading. Just keep smashing that like button to let me know that you're enjoying the videos and I'll keep uploading and thanks for watching. And don't forget to get your free games this month. They've given away five fantastic games, two of which are AAA games. First up, they've given away Ratchet and Clank, which is the amazing Insomniac platform game. And that is definitely worth downloading if you haven't already got it. And also Bloodborne, which was a AAA uh, Souls type game. And yeah. And the other game, very similar to um, Mega Man, is that platformer with um, that plays similar to Mega Man got the name of it now. There we go. Alright, we're catching up nicely. Hopefully we can make it in the top three this time now. There we go, we're going to go on the right side. Now we're going to take on the left. Yep, on the left it is, right, it's the sixth position. Yay, we made it to the top three. Excellent. Right, let's try and maintain that third place now. This view makes it easier for me to see who's behind me. Oh, we might slip into second place, maybe. Come on! Yes, second place. Look at him trying to overtake me. He's not having it. Now I'm determined to Yes, second place. There you go, guys. Two places up from my last race. I'm happy with that. Excellent. And that was with the Roadster GTI VGT car. Alright, let's uh, go to a different course. Oh, Mount Panorama Circuit, okay. Oh, this looks new. Let's try this one. And we'll do it on the sunset. We're going to do the same car again. <clears throat> Would have been nice if they had weather effects in this. They've got a pre-selected time of day before you race, which is okay, I suppose. It still looks nice. It looks gorgeous. 
but I kind of miss having the races in rain etc that you get in games such as Forza 6 and 7. Who knows, maybe if we ask for it enough, Polyphony may add rain. What do you guys think about that? Comment and let me know what you think. What are your views on this? Are you missing the rain effects like I am or are you happy with the way it is? Alright, let's race. <laughs> Wouldn't have looked very good if I crashed into the middle of that. Now this is a, this is a brand new track that I haven't raced on, so I'm going into this totally blind. overall um, impression of GT Sport is very positive. Best of all is I think the cars handle very nice and to that effect they, they look stunning as well which is a, obviously a, a visual treat for their eyes. For me most important in a ra racing game is obviously that the cars all handle nicely and I'm glad Polyphony have spent a lot of time fine tuning that. And I'm playing with a standard dual shock. Obviously, I don't have the funds for a um, steering wheel at the moment. And I know the real boy racers out there who buy, buy the um, proper chairs for this and the steering wheels, etc. Wow, you guys have got money to burn. <laughs> I know one YouTuber who spent a cool 20 grand just buying accessories, the chair, the steering wheel, etc. But he's a proper, you know, racing fanatic. about this game is the buttery smooth gameplay which is just supremely smooth. Now when, when the visuals look this good man you're getting a solid 60 FPS. It's bloody marvellous. Now I'm, play, I'm playing this on the PS4 Pro so obviously I'm getting the best version available currently available on the Sony console. But it plays rather well on a standard base PS4 as well. Oh wow, we made it into third place. Okay. He's miles ahead of me. We've done pretty good, considering. Also done done. Second place, yay! Okay, so it looks like numero two is about as good as it gets. Alrighty. Here's a 
replay for that level. That was the Autodromo Regional Monza. And I have to say the replays just look stunning. And it is in fact the only next gen racer to have 460 frames per second replays. As opposed to the 30 FPS replays that uh, Forza has, so that, that's a feather in uh, Sony's cap. Oh, the cone got it again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Screw you, cone. I think I put up a pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, Showcase then. It's all about taking those corners correctly and you know belting down the straights and braking correctly, etc. There's a nice little tutorial actually where you can learn how to take the corners properly, etc. If you've got the patience to do the uh, driving licenses and stuff like that. Now in terms in terms of overall content and um, showcase leagues etc to race, it hasn't quite got as much as say for a seven, but they're, they're getting there <laughs> with additions. I heard it on the grapevine that by the time they finish updating, they plan to have about some 600 cars, which is a fair amount, all said and done. I actually like that Roadstar, it's a nice looking car, it's like a convertible. Well it is a convertible, <laughs> not like that it is. So this is where I started to uh, gain a little ground on the uh, pole position. Slowly uh, going up the ranks there, as you can see. I come from behind. There you go. Oh, and that blue, see him? Cut me up there, didn't want to let me pass. But I took him on the bend. Let's uh, stop the replay there. And let's do one more race. I think we could squeeze in one more. Well, Willow Springs, that's a new one. These ones are all new, but I'm not high enough level yet, so... Original Circuit BB Raceway, okay, we haven't tried that one. Let's try this one. And let's do... Evening. Yeah, here we go. I have to say the cars are beautifully muddled. It's nice to see the talent behind this. Polyphony, well, what can I say? 
they're legendary when it comes to the GT series. But this is a different kind of Gran Turismo, so I feel like coming from like GT5 and then 6, which had over a thousand cars, and then to this one, it's kind of um, the evolution of GT Sport, but with not so many cars. Here we go. behind me trying to overtake me. Tucks up. Oh, he's almost managed it. Now he's done it, damn it. I got bumped from behind and overtook me. I've raced this course before, so obviously it's a learning curve for me as well. Oh, damn it. Ah, okay. All I needed. Nope. Not having that. Sorry. I can't go from 11th to 20th because there's no comeback in that respect. Welcome to the stream, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, there's that red one. Look at him. dirty on this game. I tell you, sometimes you feel like, what the hell is going on? lost it last time, but we're not going to make the same mistake. Oh, there we go. Catching up, slowly but surely. And I apologise if I'm not typing back any responses to you guys on the stream. I don't have my PC, uh, access to the PC at the moment. I'm just broadcasting live from my PS4, so my apologies to all of you. In case you're wondering why I haven't responded. Oops, so easy. Catching up. 
Yay! Look at this, into sixth position. Starting to get a feel for the course now. So, my braking is obviously better on the corners. the way that the, you know, that it draws out the distance into the far into the horizon, etc. It's really nicely done. Come on. If I could come in the top four, I'd be happy. Okay, well, that's a result. And there you have it, guys. The Willow Springs International Raceway. I have never raced that one before, but that's, uh, that was quite a race. Guys and girls, I'm going to stop the stream there. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, apologies that I couldn't respond to you guys. I don't have access to a PC at the moment. Real sorry about that. But until the next um, thrilling episode of GT Sport live stream, I hope to see you guys. And please give the gameplay a solid thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys and girls have got this, come and subscribe to the channel and come race. It's all about the fun. But until then guys, I'll see you in my next stream. God bless, thanks for watching, bye for now.